Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in DCS World and I've got another little tutorial for you. Uh, we're going to be looking at using the radio uh, uh, menu items to spawn uh, an aircraft. So let's go ahead and jump into the mission editor. Now although I've said it's to spawn an aircraft, it can be to spawn anything you like. So it could be a vehicle, ship, helicopter, another aircraft. Uh, the list is endless really with what you want. So let's go ahead and just select ourselves and put us on the ramp here. And uh, let's just go parking hot and make this a player. So this will be us. So let's just call this uh, us or US, I suppose. But no, it's us. Right, so there we are. So now if I want to use the radios to spawn something in, let's put another aircraft in. Let's just put another F 18 there. Uh, let's put him on the ramp. Make, and we have to make sure he's either uh, late activated or uncontrolled. And there are different ways of doing it. I always use the late activation if I'm going to use the radio options. It's usually I'll um, use it in sort of like a BFM uh, scenario or an ACM scenario where I want the target to spawn in and I'm ready to uh, sell a fight. And for the purpose of this video, we'll just have it on the ground and just to show you the basic principles. So let's make sure that's a late activated one. And then let's just for variety, the spice of life, let's put an F-16 in there as well. Light activated on the ramp. So that's one and two. Okay, so triggers is where this is all going to start really. So let's just say this is going to be the F-18 uh, radio item. Radio item. So we don't really need to worry about the condition for this part. So we can go down to the actions and scroll down to uh, radio item add. So we can either have radio item add, which will be for all, uh, radio item add for coalition, so either blue or red will see the item. Uh, so that could be quite useful if you're in a large multiplayer scenario or we can have just for the group. So for this purpose of this tutorial, we'll just have the group and we'll select our aircraft. So uh, us and then uh, name. What do we want the radio item to be called in the drop down menu? So let's call this F-18 spawn. F-18C spawn. That will activate flag one or turn flag one on and we'll increase it by a value of 1. So next we want to add the flag coming on and activating the aircraft. So F18 uh, activate. So now this is where the condition then comes in. So if flag uh, 1 is true then uh, group activate group one and then we'll do the same again for the F-16 so F-16 radio item again same again so go down to uh, radio item add for group select myself name F-16C spawn and now, because this is another item, we want to have it as a different flag value. So the F-18 was flag 1. This will be flag 2. If we did it on flag 1, then you could use the same, you could use the same flag as the F-18 for the F-16. Um, but if you selected F-18 spawn, you would have both the F-18 and F-16 spawn together because they're both linked to the same flag. So if you want them together, absolutely fine, have them on the same flag. If you want them separate, like I do here, then you have to increase the flag value or to have a different flag value, which is why we're going for flag number two here. The value is still one. And then we want to have the actual activate part. So F16C uh, activate. So then we go down to if flag is true then group activate 16 
But let's go ahead and jump in and see if it's worked. So you can see, nothing next to me now. So if I bring up my radio menu, go to other, you can see in the menu I now have F18C spawn and F16C spawn. So let's now spawn the F18. And there we go. There's our F18 spawned. Same again, if I want to do the F16, F16 has now spawned. And you can get creative with the radio uh, menu and how you want to do things. Like I said, I like to use it for uh, if I have a training scenario where I want to use it in a BFM or ACM kind of thing, or even for ground targets. I can set them up so that I can spawn one target aircraft at a time uh, when I'm ready for it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will try to answer them and help you where I can. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Uh, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.